Hello my crafting friends. I have just a project share with for you today. This is just a couple um, cards I made. One is to send for um, an online YouTube friend that I'm just going to be sending um, a little surprise rack to. So I wanted to make a card to go along with it. And I wanted to use this Java Queen that is Wicked Designs by Brenda. She's Brenda HDP77 here on YouTube and she creates these digital images. It's called Java Queen. So I colored her up with my Copic markers and I had found um, somewhere, I'm not sure, there's like a calendar on the back of this so I don't know where I picked it up but it was in my stash. It's a Coffee and Friends Make the Perfect Blend. Thought it was really cute and perfect um, sentiment to go along with this adorable little Java Queen and I used some pink chevron paper in the background that is either from American Crafts or um, Pebbles, their Valentine paper collection and then in the corner here are just some paper flowers that I received a container filled with them from a friend in Canada who um, doesn't use flowers like this on her projects. She likes the flatter ones and a friend of hers had made them for her so she sent them on to me so that is one of my cards and the other one is a birthday card um, for a birthday party that I'm going to be going to tomorrow and I had gotten, um, I did a, bought some dies from Roxy Car 11, Roseanne, in a D stash and it was the Tim Holtz tag die with the little book plates was one die and then there was a Sizzix frame die and then this old original Sizzix um, Eiffel Tower die. And I know there are so many people that really like the Eiffel Tower and, you know, the Paris Parisian theme stuff. And if I'm doing challenges, so I thought it would be a nice die to have. So I decided to create this girly card because the late gal I'm giving it to, um, I think of her as a girly girl. So I used the Cartabella um, Paris Girl Pattern Paper Pack with this script writing in the back, all along the background. And then this fun one that has, you know, just some labels and girly things of cologne and perfumes and such. I used um, part of a pink doily I had in my stash, layered a white doily on top. I used my SP and Company stamp set for the happy birthday. It was a birthday greeting stamp set. And some more of those beautiful paper flowers that I got from my friend in Canada. And then a Recollections little heart paper clip. And the Eiffel Tower. I did it in this fun... Um, real glittery paper and I actually cut it out like three times so it's like a chipboard piece it's real dimensional and then I added a bunch of um, recollections rhinestone bling on it and then um, the piece of the chevron pink pattern paper and then on the inside um, I stamped the sentiment from that same SP and Company birthday greetings may all your dreams come true today so those are my two um, cards for some friends so thank you ladies for watching and have a wonderful day and happy crafting